So a quick update on the CRZ IMA CNC uh, IMA manual control. So you can see my CRZ on the bench here. Uh, this is a nickel metal hydride and a lithium car basically. It's got the ECUs from both of those. And uh, I got my little connectors here. This is the IMA harness uh, connector. It's just an RJ45 uh, connector that goes into the uh, circuit board here. So this is an assembled uh, version of the IMA CNC. So I've just had the printed circuit board made and we're using three of the little uh, cheap AliExpress uh, CAN interface boards. So we've got um, sort of IMA can, can line in from the ECM. We've got the IMA can line out to the uh, IMA MCM. And then we've got the F can line in and out if we want to request any data from, from that. You don't actually need that one for the basic manual control. You only need these two because it's a man in the middle uh, device. And you can see it's flashing away here. I've finally managed to get it up and running. Um, I took... Um, I, um, what I did, I forgot, unfortunately, I removed a little tiny pause I had right at the beginning of my firmware and uh, the CAN modules were getting corrupted, the initialization, so I finally found out that was a problem. So I've put that little tiny 10 millisecond pause in for things to settle down right at the beginning before it initializes and uh, now it operates uh, correctly. Uh, so if I grab the slider here, this is the slider, and if I move it forward you should see the green LED comes on and go back to the middle, that's nothing, and then regen the other way. So forward assist, backwards regen. I haven't tried it in the car yet, but it's working on the bench. I don't have any reason to suspect it won't work in the car, but the car's just actually having its MOT this morning, so I'll try it out later on. Now, as far as the pretty circuit board goes, it's pretty straightforward and simple as you can see there. Uh, but I did make one mistake. Oh, it was only my second ever go at a printed circuit board. Um, the PIC plus five volt power pin, I forgot to connect it to the um, plus five volt power plane so you just have to make a tiny little uh, solder bridge from this pin here to the actual power plane which is underneath the solder resist there uh, or you can put a wire on i actually put a wire on my one just a wire up the wire link through the plus five volts to the pick power pin so that was just a bit of a rookie error but there we go it's what it is uh, and i shall correct that for the next version and i've got Quite a few printed circuit boards here, so these are available now if people want them. And I should be able to do a pre-programmed pick. Now, obviously, get a few more days uh, testing. I'll need to test it in the car, make sure it holds up. Um, but uh, it looks okay on the first power up. I think we're getting there. Firmware's basically there um, in certain crude initial control, and uh, hopefully it'll work in the car when I get that back later on.